All right, so on tonight's menu, we are cooking egg rolls, chicken egg rolls to be exact. You're gonna need ground chicken breast, whatever brand you choose, your egg roll skins. This is the easy thing, just grab a bag of coleslaw. But if you don't wanna do that and you wanna go ahead and chop up your own vegetables, all it is is red cabbage, red, white cabbage, and carrots. Then we're gonna use these seasonings. I like the Creole seasoning by Tony Chacheris. Garlic powder, a little chicken bouillon, garlic pepper, ground ginger, and some liquid seasoning. This recipe is extremely easy, so anybody can follow. And let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is kinda of brown your meat. Chicken, ground chicken doesn't really have a lot of fat in it, so it takes a little while to actually crisp up, but you just wanna take the ground meat and you're going to brown it like so. And a lot of people season their meat first before they actually brown it, but I like to get it brown just a little bit before I start seasoning it. I don't know, it's just a personal preference. It does something for me. <laughs> so you do what you would like to do. Chip star. Uh. Hey, hold up. Slow up. Let me love you a long time. Hold up. All right guys, so this is when I like to start seasoning it. You see how you still have some raw parts, but then you have some cooked parts as well. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and just season really quick. It may look like a lot of seasoning, but what's happening is um, the chicken is actually soaking up all the seasoning. So you have to season kind of heavily um, in order to actually taste the flavor. So a little bit and this is the chicken bouillon that's going in there garlic pepper a little ground ginger you know asians love ground ginger so that's what it is And then a little bit of the seasoning, the liquid seasoning. And we are done with the seasoning. So now what we're gonna do is just mix all of this up. And we will be almost done with the meat portion of the egg roll. Blow up. Let me love you long time. Underlay, underlay, mama, let's ride, let's ride. Underlay, underlay, mama, let's ride, let's ride. Okay, so once your meat is brown, you just want to set that aside. It should look something similar to this, depending on how much seasoning you use at the time. Um, and how brown you want the meat, but it will look like this. Again, this is ground chicken. So now we are going to go ahead and saute our coleslaw mix, which only takes about two minutes. Okay, so what you wanna do is with your coleslaw mix, you wanna go ahead and dump that into your skillet. As is, right now my skillet is still kinda hot from when we cooked our chicken, but I'm going to turn this on medium. And we're gonna saute it. We still want it to be a little bit crunchy, but we are going to saute it just a little bit. And the seasonings that we're gonna use is black pepper, garlic powder, and ground ginger. So, we are going to sprinkle the seasonings on, cause you just wanna make sure you season everything as you go. And we don't need any salt because the chicken is salted enough. So right now you're just adding flavor into this. And that's all you need. And so we're just gonna toss that and mix it just a little bit. Went to school together in the eighth grade. Sitting next to her in the science lab. 
I could have sworn we had chemistry. Now you all grown up and you super bad. Now that ass looks softer than Johnson Johnson now. Your name Charmin, could have sworn that it was Cottonell. Used to fall asleep together on the telephone and wake up in the morning like, hello? Damn, I think I want that old thing back. Maybe we can spark a flame. All right, so what you want it to look like is a little bit of iridescent. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you so you can see what I'm referring to. There you go. So you want the cabbage to be a little bit of iridescent. You don't want it to be fully cooked because remember, you still fry an egg roll. So you want the inside to cook in the fryer as well. So at this point, we are done with this. We're just going to transfer it to the same bowl with the chicken, mix it all up and let it cool down just a little bit so that we can roll our egg rolls. Okay, once you have everything mixed up, it should look like this. And then what you're going to do is let it cool off for about 10 minutes because you do not want to fill your egg roll wrappers while this is still hot. So once we let it cool off, we're going to put those in those egg roll skins. I have a better brand that I actually like, but this one does just fine as well. But it's whatever brand you choose. So let's go ahead and let it cool off and then I will be back to show you how to roll your egg roll. Okay, so now that the egg roll filling has cooled, we are going to start making our egg rolls. The key thing about egg rolls is you don't want to overfill them. You want to just fill them just a little. Um, if you think it is not enough, it's probably enough. You always want to go lighter instead of heavier. So we're going to place it on a diagonal on each egg roll. I do multiple at one time just to make the process a little bit faster. So you're gonna scoot it all to the middle. You always wanna have some water to the side so that you can seal the egg rolls. So we are going to just dab a little bit, place it on each corner. And what I do is I fold it in like so. I bring this in. I tuck it and I roll. And sometimes the egg rolls do bust. So as you can see, it does bust, but that's okay because you can always take another egg roll wrapper and seal it again. So it's a personal preference. I personally only like one egg roll wrapper. However, I know a lot of people take two. Remember in the beginning of this video, I said this is not my favorite brand and this is the reason why, because it's thin. However, during COVID, a lot of brands are out. So you have to take what you can get. So here we go. And you just do the same exact thing because you don't want any pockets in there because if you leave any pockets, the egg roll will be greasy. And so you have an egg roll. Okay, so I have all of the egg rolls rolled and wrapped. Now, y'all, I am not a professional, so <laughs> the egg rolls are different in size, if you can see. Just kidding. I actually had my boyfriend help me roll some of the egg rolls, so that's why you see them. them but yeah. I used all of my filling, and it made me 12 egg rolls. So we are going to fry these next. And guess what, you guys? We are going to be done with the egg rolls. So if, you're, if you reach this point, give this video a, a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe because we have more recipes on the way. I promise you guys, if you try this recipe, it's so bomb. All right, let's go ahead and get to frying these egg rolls. All right, so I have my grease heating for the egg rolls. It's been heating for about mm, seven minutes um, on a medium high heat. I am going to go ahead and just drop some in there. Um, you don't want it to be too hot because it would get too brown. So we're going to just keep doing it. Now, one thing about the egg rolls, you can make ahead of time and freeze them. And they'll still be good to go. So we're going to let these get brown. And once they are done, um, they should be done in about five minutes. We're going to um, take them out, let them drain, and then we'll be good to go. And I will show you the finished product. And we have our egg rolls finished. I went ahead and paired it with some fried rice. If you need a recipe for fried rice, head over to my channel. I do have my own recipe on there. So um, it is very delicious. The egg rolls are delicious. So 
all of my recipes is popping. But yeah, go ahead and head over there to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I am Hold out. Up, slow up, let me love you a long time. Hold up, slow up, let me love you a long time. Underlay, underlay, mama, let's ride, let's ride.